What's up? What's good? What's good? What is open communication? Some people say open communication is the best way to communicate between two parties. You got to have open communication. Well, what's the difference between open communication and regular? Just communicating. Well, it's quite simple and very complicated. Not a lot of people are ready for open communication within a relationship. A lot of people are not ready for that because they don't understand what it actually means. They think it's surrendering all freedom whatsoever. But if you're in a relationship where it's just you two and you guys are building towards something, see, what's lost today in today's relationships, and myself included, I don't, I'm not unincluded in this process as a single black man. I am definitely included in this process. In this whole process that's been formed, it moves in this direction. Okay? It moves in the direction of what about me? What about my privacy? Like the way I said that? <laughs> what about the way I like to do things? My freedom. I feel like there's some parts I got to hold dear to me. Now, a lot of people in today's time are in a bubble where they're only communicating to oneself. Or they're in a relationship thinking, what about me? So they're not building towards anything. They're just dating this person right now because it's convenient. It's like, okay, we're cool. Maybe one day down the road I'll put a ring on a finger. But they're not really serious. And it could go on either side. Both could not really be serious. They're just, you know, messing around is what they call it. And they might think of themselves in a relationship. But it's just for right now. This is what we're doing. I meet his friends. I like some of his friends. He likes my friends. That's a very difficult situation. So open communication is an entirely different aspect. When you have open communication, you know what you're faced with. You're faced with learning and knowing. Just an ability to know. It's a very powerful fact to just possess the ability of knowing. And it doesn't even bother you. What is a form of open communicating? A form of open communication is, let's say you have a cell phone, right? You lay it anywhere. You don't care if your wife pick up the phone and go through it. Or the person you're dating in a relationship picks up the phone and go through it. That's open. Now, without even saying a word, you have just communicated with that person, saying that you can go anything and through everywhere, anything I have, I hold no secrets. There's no secrets in this whole place that we share that I don't, that I basically keep away from you. Now, that doesn't mean you got to tell her 
what you and Julie did <laughs> in summer camp back when you were in eighth grade, you know, that that can come up if you want it to, but, <laughs> you know, nobody cares about eighth grade, you know, so. But if you want to have open communication and the lines are always open, that's a very good example of it. Now, a lot of people communicate by actually talking. And you can communicate through letters. Some people relate better with letters, with words. It lessens arguments when someone writes a letter. When you talk, somebody comes right back with words, and they don't really hear what you say. When you write a letter or you send a text, because no one writes letters anymore, if you send a text message or an email, they're forced to read every word. So they have to read what you said and then respond. Is somebody mowing my grass today on a Saturday? No, that's some motorcycle. What the hell is somebody doing over here with a motorbike? I thought that stuff was banned. Oh, well. Here we go again. Now, <clears throat> true to the form, true to word, true to everything that we hold and respect dearly. And I mean everything. Being in a relationship such as this where the communications are open it lessens confusion it lessens the arguments you're able to have a discussion because everything is open there's no reason not to trust but once you start building your own little private lives inside of a relationship you're setting up distrust. People are like, I need my privacy. I need my privacy. Well, it works like this, right? So, anyway, it works like this. You can have your own privacy. Open communication don't mean your privacy is gone. Your privacy is still there. The problem is with most men and women alike, they think someone's intruding. Open communication don't mean that I want to take your whole privacy away. No. If you have some things you want to do in private, I'm quite sure she's not going to mind. Open communication just means if everything is open, I can trust you. If there's something I want to check on, I can check on it. If there's something I want to ask you, I can ask you. That's what it is. Just because you lay your phone up there and she has, she can go through your, your phone anytime she feels a need to, doesn't mean that she's going to do it. You can go through her phone, no problems. None of the times do she needs to go through your phone. Or you can go through hers. But if you wanted to, you could. And there wouldn't be any judgment. It's open communication. But if you did go through my phone, I would want to know why. Have I given you a reason to distrust me? 
No, but okay, well, go through the phone. You can go through it, do what you have to do, but I don't think I've given you a reason to distrust me. But go ahead. It's open to you. You see, these are the things that <clears throat> that baffles. It baffles people. For some mysterious reason, it baffles everyone. But me, I get it. So, that's open communication. Hopefully, you people subscribe to the page. Hit that notification bell. Don't forget, you can support my cash app, which is Carcino, K-A-R-C-E-N-O. And it's Super Chat over here. So, hopefully, you guys have been Super Chatting. For those who don't know, some people already know. One Crack News, you can super chat.